in a life science and tech hub in Bristol, Imofron is working on new vaccine technology. It's a start-up with a great idea that could help change medicine. And it's not alone. This is an incubator for high-risk, early-stage enterprises that need incentives to survive. The more robust R&D tax credit scheme for smaller... They wanted more generous tax breaks for research. The Chancellor disappointed. Overall, I think underwhelming and this is a really important part of the cash flow particularly at the minute in a quite a hard funding environment and companies finding it quite hard to get money so this was almost halved in the autumn budget and now we've come up close to but not the same as not quite where we were i don't think they've done enough to make us competitive say with the us in in this regard it is risky you know that a lot of these companies most of them fail but the potential upscale is enormous it increases the risk um, overall and um, of something that's already a very risky asset class. Established industries need help to spark growth too. This valve manufacturer will open the spending taps after the Chancellor announced every penny invested in machinery, premises and IT can be written off against corporation tax, going up contentiously to 25%. One big area for us is to improve our valve assembly, repair, overhaul and testing arena. But that would take a significant investment that I stalled on just to see what's going to be happening over the next year. And that's something now that could be facilitated um, using, using the uh, corporation tax uh, reduction. This budget is an attempt to stimulate growth and stave off recession by giving companies and consumers the confidence to spend. But after the economic trauma of last year, it feels like just the first step to convincing business that Britain is back on track. Brewers and beer drinkers will get a boost with duty frozen on pints bought in pubs, but everything else Budweiser sells faces steep tax rises in August. For the world's biggest brewer, the big picture matters. There is a finite pot of money, and if the UK doesn't have a very business-friendly uh, environment when it comes to taxation, when it comes to the incentives they're giving business, then other, con other countries will win out. It's still too soon for the Chancellor to toast success. Paul Kelso, Sky News.